Yeah, I had I'd seen bits of the movie. You know, the the one. You know, the, I had seen bits of that, but I didn't never didn't really visit it specially for the project. And I had read the book, of course. I was sort of made to read it at school, and I I loved it. And then I sort of revisited it again before when I found out I got the role, really. Because so. Pip is such an iconic character, so yeah. how did you bring something new to him? Do you think? I think it's hard to think about bringing something new. That always that would just scare you. I think all you have to do is look at the material and bring something completely fresh in the sense that you just react to it. I mean, when you're put in a room with actors, you're just going to react to them and you're going to bring something completely new anyway because you're not going to have the same, you know, no one's going to deliver the lines the same way. It's completely different production design, completely different team. So I don't think I have to worry about anything being new. I just have to live in the moment and let things kinetically be created yeah. as, as it happens, I think. You mentioned the production design. The sets are absolutely amazing. Oh, amazing show, yeah. What was it like working with them? Oh, I mean, it, it's such a help. I mean, you just walk into these worlds and they're created for you. So it, it's such a blessing. And I think it's, it's one of the first jobs I've walked onto the sets every day and just been like, oh, my God. I mean, you think how much money must they spent on this? But I think it's just the pure work. The BBC just put, they, they, we, they, sort of, they have such a love for what they do. And they work with such great teams that, that they create such brilliant things and, and, and it is truly incredible, the sets. I mean, did you, did you see any? Have you seen any? I've of seen the first any? episode, yeah. Oh, you've seen the first episode? Yeah. Oh yeah, I haven't even seen that. <laughs> I'm jealous, I'm jealous. It looks amazing. Does it? I'm glad. What about the costumes? Because they look a bit uncomfortable. I, right? I mean, I mean, yeah, those, those costumes in those days were a little bit uncomfortable and it was sort of, you know, fashion before comfort as it were. But yeah, I w it was, um, I worked with the same costume designer I worked with on Worried About the Boy, a job I'd done before, and she won a BAFTA for that, and she's just so, so brilliant um, that I was, I mean, I was just thrilled to be able to work with her again. She's so talented. Okay. And in Great Expectations, obviously Oscar plays a younger you. Mm -hmm. Did you meet him at all? Yeah, yeah, I spent loads of time, loads of time, because kids can only film for like four hours at a time or a day or something, so I'd sometimes have to come in on the days and, and film for the rest of the day. So we spent a lot of time together, and he's a really, really cool kid, really cool kid. Brilliant. And Izzy, who plays the, the young Estella as well. Yeah, definitely. I want to talk about Piva and Estella, because Estella's not exactly the nicest person. Why do you think Pip's so in love with her? I don't know. He sees something, he sees something, and I think she's not, not a nice person, she's just... She's damaged, isn't she? I mean, it's not her, it's Miss Havisham. It, I think we think that if you, if you have a kid, um, they can turn out horrible. Not that Estella turns out horrible at all, but you can have someone that turns out horrible, but if you put them in a different parental home, they would have turned out completely different, I suppose. Um, but he sees something. He falls in love with her. Sometimes you can't explain it. And he, I think that's one of the most amazing things, and the amazing thing about this love story is he just never gives up on her, not once. He, he just, sort of just goes and goes and goes and just never relents in his love for her, which is really beautiful, I think. Definitely. So why do you think Great Expectations has sort of lasted this long? Why do you think it's such an enduring story? Um, because I think Dickens' you know, uh, social commentary is still completely rele you know, relevant today. And um, his characters are so brilliant that people just want, 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 want to, to read about it or watch it on screen. And um, yeah, I think that's why people, people love him. They're just so, the novels are so rich and mm. full of life. And you can smell them, you can hear them, you can, you can feel them, you know, so you can see it. What do you think makes this perfect Christmas TV as well? I think, uh, you know, all those things. It's, it's that sort of sitting around, it's all cosy and, and it's, it's so rich. The, you know, the colours, the smells, the costumes, the, the stories, the, the scale of it. It's just very, it's kind of quite, it's very epic and it's... I don't know, you tell me, you've seen it, I haven't seen it yet, I just, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably why.